Hi everyone, this is Jacko from Jacko's Fossils, and today I'd like to talk about how do you know if the Megalodon teeth that you buy are actually real? Now Megalodon teeth, they're available for sale in a lot of different places. If you go to a fossil show, you'll see tons of these things out. Uh, you'll even see them at a lot of beach shops as souvenirs. But a lot of times when you find a Megalodon fossil, it's an incomplete tooth. It's actually quite rare to find a whole one. And a lot of times what people will do is they will take these incomplete teeth and have them restored to look whole. Um, now, that, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that there are people out there who don't disclose that there's been any restoration done to it and then sell them as if they were found whole and perfect. So I'm gonna show you all what to do to determine if a megalodon tooth is, uh, if there's any funny business going on. So you'll need four things to, to really properly test a megalodon tooth. A black light, acetone, gloves, and a white cloth. So the first thing you use is the black light. Now, the main reason this is the first thing is because this is a very non-invasive way of doing this. So if you're at a show and you see some megalodons out for sale and you wanted to determine, uh, is there any funny business going on or not? You, you always start with the black light. Now, megalodon teeth, they're enamel it's a little hard to see in light. It fluoresces under the blue light of, of the ultraviolet light. So you go to as dark a place as possible and you shine your black light on it. And you should, you see how the enamel fluoresces green like that? Or kind of greenish? That is a sign that it is authentic enamel. You do it front and back. Now the root doesn't fluoresce as much. So what you're doing is you're looking for unusual changes in color. Like, an area where it's like dark brown next to very light brown, that indicates that there was some restor that could indicate there was some restoration done. Uh, if if you see the enamel is mostly one sheen under the ultraviolet light, but there's parts of it that look very different, uh, that's a great way to determine that there might be some f some funny business there. Usually, you will see it uh, along right over here n near the tip along the edges, usually with enamel that's chipped off because that's where enamel likes to chip off. And of course, in the back over here, is that's that's where you see, you see it the most of it. You also might see it in the corners if they're repairing an entire corner. Now, some megalodon teeth are a little bit trickier to use this with. They don't have the bright green fluorescent enamel that you eat. The really dark uh, black megalodons don't have that. So again, what you're doing is you're looking around to see if there's any thing that stands out. So like right here on this one, you'll see there's a streak there that's a different color than the surrounding enamel that would have been otherwise very difficult to notice. Now that could, now that could be one of two things. That could be some unspecified restoration, but it could also just be some slightly different mineralization in just that one spot on the tooth. Now, once you see that, that's the spot where you usually want to test. Now, usually when, if it is restoration, it will look much different than that. I already know that that is just a little bit of mineraliza of slightly different mineralization. Um, but, but let's say you, you get a tooth and you see something like that and you want to know for sure that there's nothing going on. So this is the next step that comes in. Now, the black light, is very useful, but it's not usually conclusive and it can be very difficult to see restoration sometime even with it. It mostly is there to point out something obvious. Uh, if you really wanna confirm, you need to use acetone. So what acetone does is it dissolves any paint that is used to cover up the restoration. So make sure you have a glove on. A uh, nitrate glove is probably your best bet some acetone onto a white dishcloth white so that you can see if there's any paint that comes off and rub as vigorously as possible but try not to actually uh, damage it now 
Now, as you'll see, no, there is no black on that. If, if there was black on this after doing it, if that was paint, there would have been black, hang on, a little piece of the cloth got caught on it. Uh, if that was paint or restoration, it would have come off on the acetone and you would see it here. You don't, therefore, we can conclude that that is just a mineral stain. That, that's completely natural. There's, there's nothing, there's no funny business here. Now, what's really nice about the acetone test is you can use it on just about any, not even just megalodon, you can, you can use it on just about any fossil to determine if there's any paint or any funny business on there. Um, and it doesn't harm the fossil. So, like, you just saw, I used a bunch of acetone on this. It did not damage it, and it won't damage it. The downside to it is that most people aren't going to let you rub chemicals on their fossil until you buy it. So one really great way if you're buying online and you also can't use the black light because you can't use it through a computer screen is to make sure that the seller has a good return policy, buy the tooth, test it using acetone to see if there's any funny business. And if, and if a seller has a tooth, because a lot of times sellers will buy teeth from old collections that have, and a lot of times they'll have unspecified restoration, so they don't know. Uh, if you buy a tooth from a reputable seller and you provide them with pictures showing, hey, there was restoration on this tooth that was not disclosed, um, they will give a full refund and let you let you send it back. Um, of course, you, you need to make sure that the return policy is in place before buying it. Um, but yeah, I'm, Hey, every once in a while you go to a show, you'll find that one seller who has a thing of acetone out there to say, hey, test all you want. These are real. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and uh, I, hope this helped, I hope this helped you all out. Have a wonderful day.